Hey what's up guys, Rado here with Dirt and Iron. Today we are going to talk how to adjust idle in a fuel screw on a 4 stroke dirt bike. So stick around. If you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the button below and jump on the board. I got videos like this every week and I'll do my best to keep you guys motivated. So today we are going to work on WR450. This is the bike that I've been working on for some time now and uh, it's adjusted really nicely, the jetting is correct, everything is nice, the bike runs really sweet, I did all the free mods and it's really in a really good condition. So it's very easy for me now to adjust my idle and adjust my fuel screw because everything is working the way it's supposed to. But if you have a problem adjusting your idle or your fuel screw, you just cannot get it right. There might be something else uh, causing it, there might be some other issue, some other problem. I don't want to go to detail and tell you what can cause it. My friend and fellow YouTuber Vegas Romaniacs, he did a really good video where he compiled a list of all the possible things that might go wrong with your carburetor or engine or everything else uh, if you are not able to adjust your idle and you're not able to, to get the jetting right. So I'll put his uh, link below in the description, also show it somewhere here, the video. This guy, he knows what he's talking about, he's pumping out a lot of content, you know, he's doing a lot of videos. He's very unique, but his channel is very interesting, so I suggest you to go check it out. Probably some of you already know him, but for you who don't know him yet, go check his channel, it's really interesting, and you can definitely learn something new. Today we are going to work mainly with a fuel screw. This is a four stroke, right? So you got a fuel screw on a four strokes, on a two strokes you have air screw, and they work completely opposite. On the fuel screw, when you go in, your bike is getting leaner, when you go out, your bike is getting richer. On the air screw, when you go in, your bike is getting richer. When you go out, your bike is getting leaner. So it's the other way around. I also did a video about two strokes. I was adjusting uh, idle on my KTM. I'll put link below in the description. If you are interested in two strokes, go check it out. But for the four strokes, it's very essential that you adjust that properly and you have a good uh, throttle response, you have good idle. Um, Trottle response, I'm talking about the first, uh, maybe quarter of a trottle from the idle transition into like first eight or first first quarter of a trottle. You can adjust that with your fuel screw and also have a nice and smooth idle. Before we go any further, make sure that you have a fuel screw that you can actually adjust. If you still have a stuck fuel screw, it's on the bottom of a carburetor and there is a starter here on WR. So even on YZ, if you don't have a starter, you still have not enough room in there. You cannot really put a screwdriver in there. And if you do, it's very difficult to see if you are adjusting it or not. Highly suggest and recommend to get aftermarket fuel screw. I got JD Jetting fuel screw. Replace that with your stock fuel screw and you can easily adjust it with your fingers. It's so much easier. It makes this job very simple. Before we start adjusting a fuel screw and idle, make sure that your throttle has a play. I want to have a little bit of play in the beginning and make sure that the slider in a carburetor is sitting all the way on the bottom of the carburetor. I'm gonna assume that your bike is jetted correctly. The next thing you need to do, warm up your bike, make sure it's nice and warm, and also make sure that you have a nice and clean air filter in. After that, we can go and adjust it. So, it's, it's very simple. What I, what I do, how I do it is, uh, first of all, I put my fuel screw all the way in until it sits, and then bring it about half turn out. And then I would raise the RPM, the idle, with this uh, idle adjustment screw here. Bring it a little bit higher. And then I will start the bike. So the bike will be running in a lean condition. And the RPM will be a little bit high. And then what I will do, I will go about half turns out at the time with my fuel screw. And I will keep bringing the fuel screw out until my RPM is going down. And you can hear it on the video that it will, it will go down and it will drop to the point where if you move your uh, fuel screw half turn out, it will not change at all. At that point, I will bring it half turn back in, right to the point where my RPM was the lowest, and then I will adjust my idle, and at that point, my, my uh, throttle response should be very smooth, very crisp, and that's pretty much it. So we're gonna put the fuel screw back in all the way till it sits. And then just bring it, maybe a quarter turn out, just the hair out. There you go, and then raise your idle a little bit, so you have higher RPM. At this point, start the bike. So let's bring it out. It's coming down quite a bit. I, I feel it's here 
but let's go a little more out. It didn't change, so let's go back to that point. Okay, this is this is where it's lowest. That's just my idol. And now when I go on a gas, I should have very smooth and crisp response without any backfiring, any popping. This is how you should feel and hear your throttle response when everything is adjusted correctly. I'm gonna show you that trick I learned from other YouTuber. His name is Jake Clark. I think you know him. He's uh, around dirt bikes like for 40 years and he's doing really good stuff on YouTube. So there is hot start. What hot start does is that once you pull it in, it's opposite what a choke is doing. The choke is choking your bike. That means it's uh, not giving enough air. Hot start is opposite, so it's giving more air. At this point where I put pull hard start in and my bike is jerked correctly, I'll give it more air and the RPM should go up. If the bike is not jerked correctly and it's on the lean side, you, you give it more air, nothing will change or, or just very small changes. You should have your RPM going up and stay up when you hold this thing in. I want to show you what will happen when I put my flu screw back in and my back will be on the lean side. You will see there will be almost no response to this hot start once I pull it in. That's because the bike is already lean, you give it more air, not much will change. If your bike is doing this, when you pull this hot start in and it just kind of bum, 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 you know, brings it up a little bit, you know that uh, it's too lean and you need to run it a little bit richer, go a little bit out with a fuel screw or possibly might even need to put bigger pilot. Let me give you one quick tip, something happened to me about a week ago. I was running this bike and suddenly the RPM on, on the idle will go up and stay up and then sometimes it will settle back down. Sometimes it will stay up and I will have to adjust it with a uh, adjustment screw but then uh, my uh, throttle response wouldn't be as good as before and I will feel that bike is a little bit lean, it will backfire. So it was a big mess. Sometimes it was okay, sometimes it wasn't okay. It was going up and down. And I knew that my uh, all the jets are correct. I knew that uh, my carburetor is clean because I just did it. So I didn't really know what it is. And then finally I found out that this cable that goes to the hot start the way it was routed, uh, the previous owner, I don't know who, routed it incorrectly. And when I go all the way to the left, I would pull this cable a little bit and that would add more air to my carburetor and mess up all my jetting. So if you have the similar problem that your RPM is going up and down, make sure that this cable right here has a play and it's not pulling when you go all the way to the left. You should have play on this thing because you add a little more air to the carburetor, to the jetting that you think is set it correctly and it will mess everything up. Hopefully that helps. These three things will tell you if your bike is jetted correctly. It's very smooth transition from uh, idle to high RPM, no backfires when you go off gas and a hot start makes RPM go up. If these three things work for you, that means that your bike is jetted correctly, idle is uh, adjusted correctly, fuel screw is adjusted correctly and just go ahead and have some fun on your bike. Alright my friends, that's about it for today and don't forget whatever you do Stay motivated. See you later.